Hi people, my name's Tom. Today I'm going to be test flighting my dad's Big Sur. I just replaced a servo in it. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and added some strength to the fuselage and the tail. It's been flown a few times. He's still learning, so we want to make sure this flight's good. But I'm um, bringing this to you today from Holly Springs, a beautiful city in Mississippi, the United States. But we're going to give it a shot from my, I'm going to use my um, helmet cam. And I know this is the first time I've ever talked to you guys, so uh, I'm going to try to do it more often if I can. But here's our field today. It's right next to the new 22 they're building. Grass a little high, but they'll be cutting it. Let's see what it reads. Let's see. Let's set it right here for a minute. Let's do that one more time. Another thing, this little $44 e-light battery, which I'm not so impressed with, has the shortest balance plug I've ever seen. So we've got all 12 and 12, 12 2. Okay. Right. That read good somewhat. And usually I like to get them 12 4, but like I said, this battery's been in a couple flights already. Elevators all the way up for some reason. Huh, you see that? Okay, again, let's get up past my power lines. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. A lot better. Look at that. Above the interstate, nor should anybody else. Not except for the fact your plane will be ran over, but you could cause a wreck. I know if I was driving along and somebody hit my car with an airplane, I would probably have a heart attack. So we do not ever, for any reason, will ditch the plane if it wants to go that way and we can't control it. It's been done before with some of my experimentals. I do not fly over the interstate, just to let people know. Check it out, just cut the throttle back. I think Robert would probably be happy to see his plane doing so well. One day he'll be up there and he'll get some flight time in too. I have considered strapping on, he has a, I bought him a camera just like mine, the Midland HD camera, three ounces. I like it a lot better than the GoPro. That wind, woo! bumpy but uh he's got one as well he uses for his digi news and gym videos and I'm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set him up a setup on there so he can put it on the big store like I used to do it's awesome I recommend it it's a very good good camera but it comes with a lithium battery and the whole thing with the battery is not even three ounces almost all right here we go let's do a dive The loop de loop. <laughs> I don't know what they call it. And again, I am a newbie to the sport. I love it. I love actual flying, so I knew I would love RC flying as soon as I seen it. I'm going to say flight tests is probably in uh, RC reviews. The next jet was really fired me up to spend money I don't have to get into the sport. Do some low flying. Hmm. 
Okay, look at that, man. Vicksburg is just amazing. Definitely got to use rudder when you're down low like this. You find yourself banking yanks a little tough when you're down low. You, you know, bank it and yank it right into the ground. Jeez knows I did that one a few times. Definitely got to have some rudder down here. I run landing gear in my Bixer if you've seen it from the videos. I'm always tempted to run this one to the concrete and land it out of habit when I'm flying it, but yeah, remember, stay on the grass with no wheels. Can you imagine a Cessna with no wheels and that's how you landed it every time? Life would be interesting. You mean to a bush pilot, I tell you. Look at that Bixer. I mean, it just hangs in. I, you know, plane flies that slow and that well, it just blows me away. Of course, I was in the wind a little bit, but... Wow, I love Bixler. Like I said, I'm converting mine to a front prop just for fun. <laughs> and I'm going to order a new one for the FPV flying. Yes, sir. One of my better days here lately. I've been wanting to build my own Delta Wings. I've worked out the perfect design. Waiting for some more blackboard to come in. Our town's small. It takes a week or two of stuff to get here. But uh, I do enjoy flying Bixler. It is a it is a, it just wants to fly. It was born to fly. It's a beautiful design. Thanks to Josh Bixler and old Hobby King for uh, coming up with this one. And it's affordable. I mean, just about anybody can, you know, stop smoking cigarettes and you can buy a Bixler in a couple of weeks. <laughs> if you're a smoker like I used to be. I replaced my cigarette habit with a flying habit, actually. It's worked out quite well. To be honest with you, I jones for flying a lot more than I ever jones for the cigarettes. Look at that. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful plane. I recommend everybody lease on one of these, especially if you're a newbie like us out here in Holly Springs. You know, my Bixler had a, it was a magnet for trees. I finally have got over that habit. Look at that, it's just a beautiful, beautiful flying plane. I, I, I'm, the adjustments I made on this, straightening up the tail and reforcing the fuselage, it has made an extreme difference. Now this this plane's actually had a wing break, so it did mine, from trees, and uh, we repaired it with popsicle sticks and hot glue, and did the same thing on the other side in the same exact spot, for no other reason but to balance it. And you know it seems to be a weak spot right there, right past where the ailerons are hooked to, but uh, you know. It, it seems to hold a, I mean, I, I've always been a little nervous of doing things hardcore in it like, like that. We're going to try it anyway. No, nope, the wing didn't rip off. Doesn't even flex. No, nope, seems pretty good. So, even, this plane is very forgivable for a newbie. Matter of fact, they shouldn't even named it Bix, or they should have just named it Newbie. <laughs> Look at that. Come here. That's amazing. This is just, just a phenomenal plane. How low can I go? Well, that's something probably shouldn't be doing somebody else's plane but we'll do it anyway he never watches my videos mm. and yes folks I didn't just learn how to fly with the plane I, I did have a simulator FMS whatever it's called I, it makes a world of difference when you and no you're not supposed to ever fly over your head one of my favorite things to do and I don't think I'll ever be AMA. Not a big fan of rules. No reason getting air is there's no cops flying around. No, I'm joking about that. I am safe though, and 